one. I made a video five minutes ago. I'm trying to make one so you can hear what I'm saying to everyone. We are standing by your sister, Joan Roberts. Love you more than life itself. What happened to you shouldn't have happened. They cowards. They cowards. They didn't even look back to see what you all right. When they time come, they're going to get worse than what you got because you didn't earn this. This is not your time. God has got you in his hand. He'll figure out where you belong. And I'm hoping it's not heaven. It's down here on earth with the rest of us. But we love you, sister. We love you, Joan. Your whole family is standing by you. Unfortunately, we can't be at your side, only me and your family. But we with you in spirit. We with you at home. Each one of our homes is praying for you every single day. Because you know you're an angel from God. And he ain't not taking that gift. Not yet. So we hoping that you open your eyes and squeeze the hand and say, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home. We praying every single day for you. Nobody's giving up on you. So don't give up on yourself. I, we love you so much. Tears come down our eyes. We don't want you to go. We not want to say goodbye. So we praying for you, sister, Joan Roberts. Your family is in your corner. They never giving up. They right there by your side, always. They will know when you sleep. They might not even eat. That's how much they love you, Joan Roberts. So, we all on the same thing for you. So get better, open your eyes, and tell everybody, I'm ready. I'm ready to come home. God got other plans for you. I don't hope this is not it. Not this time. You should be more, have more time to spare. Life is short as it is. You're not ready for it. Your time is not here yet. I'm praying that's what is happening. That God open your eyes and send you home. And not close them and take you to heaven. I'm praying that you love. Everybody that loves you is there for you no matter what. They're not going to leave your side. They're not going to leave your side until they can kick you home in the car. We all, on your, we all praying for you. We all praying for you. Don't worry about those guys. They'll get there when time comes. Oh, yeah, they will get there because they didn't even care nothing about you. And that is no way in God going to let that happen. So you get better, sister. You open your eyes. You look in plump face. Her tears is coming down. All the rest of them got tears coming down their face because they love you that much. And so do we all. So you get better, son. You get better, Joan. We love you. We love you. We love you. Now, on another subject, I'm still thinking about you for another subject. Everybody, I want you to go out and vote when time comes. Young people that got the education and want to finish to go to college, you step up too because without it, you will not go to college. This guy is not going to worry about your college tuition. He's not going to worry about you going to school. They're going to know where you have a meal to eat or a place to sleep. So you go out there and vote. Everybody else, they got benefits, food stamps, SSI, Medicaid, and Medicare, and uh, Social Security, veteran benefit, retirement. Y'all got to go out there and vote. Whether you're in a wheelchair, walker, or sitting home in, on the bus. It don't matter. Go out and vote. If they had a truck that had to come to your door, vote. Vote. Let's have a big turnout this year. That's the bigger we had with Obama. And everybody stepped it up. From my kids, grandkids, everybody came out. So let's do it again. Let's put Clinton in that White House and kick Donald Trump to the curb. Because he is not for nobody but himself. All he know about is hotels and um, planes and all that. He don't know nothing about no war in the White House. He wouldn't know what time of day it is if a, a, a war broke out. He wouldn't know what to do. To sit back and laugh. So we can't have that. So come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Go out and vote and make your word heard. Because we need a change since Obama can't do it. Love you, everybody across the country. Come out and vote to Obama. Since you have a few more months in the White House, give everybody a Christmas present $250. As you did the first time. Everybody will be healthy for that. At least you know it will go to a good cause. So do that before you leave the White House. 
We all love you. You did a great and wonderful job while you was there. There's only one person that can fill that void, and it's Clinton, his wife. So let's see what she can do. Because, Obama, you're the best. Don't let nobody think you. You're the best. I know you had a hard time, these people talking about you like a dog and all that. Don't worry about it. You did your job. Now let's see what she can do. And, uh, and Donald Trump, jumping on the lake. You ain't about nothing. You ain't about hurting nobody but yourself. That's why you ain't getting in there, because you run your mouth too much. So for everybody else, let's come together and vote. And vote for the one right person for the job. Clinton White, let's see what she can do. Christmas coming. Maybe nobody even gonna think about that because too much going on right now. Too much violence, shooting, stabbing, robbing people. You can't even go to the store. You can't even send your own home. You can't even go to the movies no more. Nanny's taught in the school. Poor kids, innocent. What in the world coming to? We have to stop it. People out there, watch your kids. Check them to school and make sure you check them when you get off the bus. You don't need no more accidents. We love and we hope the kids are safe. For everybody here from the Lord Mackey Mitchell, love you. Take a day, nice day.